Hey, what's going on, Pokemon fans from all around the world? It's your boy Castle Perfect here, and in this video, apparently, we can now clone items within Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And it is the most awesome thing that I've seen so far. It's not difficult, it's easy to do, everybody can get their hands on it, and it is now, as of this specific moment, available within Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's a little exploit that we can do. Usually I'm not a big fan of exploits, but as long as the exploits don't destroy the game or get you banned or stuff like that, then it's completely fine. But one of the greatest things here, what you're what you're looking at right now is me fighting a wild Virisian. Virisian does not spawn there. That is correct. What you're seeing here is a successful uh, cloning uh, glitch that I'm doing here for heavy balls. Look at this. So, I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate, I have 10 Heavy Balls. Now, my Virision, as you can see down there, is holding a Heavy Ball as well. So, Wild Smurgo just happened to transform into Virision, which is holding a Heavy Ball. And when the glitch is completed and successful, then it appears in the overworld as Virision holding the Heavy Ball. So, what you're seeing here is me having 10 Heavy Balls. 11, actually, if you count the one that is... Uh, that my Ferician is holding, but just keep in mind that there is 10 Heavy Balls in my bag, right? So I'm going to quickly go ahead and fight this unorthodox uh, Ferician. I'm gonna call it Ferician. I know it's Iron Leaves, but it's just Ferician in my head. So I'm going to use the move Trick, which by the way is can be learned by many Psychic type Pokemon. So that's not really the challenge here. Just going to quickly demonstrate that this works. So I use Trick on the on the Wild uh, Iron Leaves, and I'm going to run. And now that I've ran, I can go back to my bag, I can go to Pokeballs, and as you can see, now I have 11, 12 with the one uh, that I have on my version on my team. So how does this work? Let's jump into it. So first things first, you need to have the DLC. You need to be able to go to the Blueberry Academy. So once you have access to the Blueberry Academy, you, you want to go to the savannah biome and you see this area around here this is a patch of grass right next to this flying area rest area too so if you go a little bit to the left here in between that grass patch and this tree you place it there that's where you're supposed to go so we're gonna do it again so how do we do this from scratch how do we clone items and also pokemon well first you need to get your hands on the blueberry academy dlc basically the dlc for pokemon scarlet and violet part 2 indigo disc as soon as you have access to this map apparently you can zoom into the savannah biome and as you can see here there's a smurgle spawning this is the area where we want to go so we have a grass patch here and we have a tree right there so we want to go right in the middle right there but before we go there, we are required to bring a ditto. And the ditto that I am using for this glitch is level 100. Why? Because this ditto must be faster than the Smurgle we are going to be encountering. Oh, somebody sent me a message. Sorry about that. It needs to be faster than the Smurgle we are going to be encountering. I also had to spend some carbos on my ditto because he just was that slow. Another important thing is your Ditto is supposed to have the ability Limber. It's not supposed to have the ability Imposter. Because you need to transform manually, not automatically. So level 100 Ditto with the Limber ability uh, and enough speed stats to outspeed the Smurgle we are going to be encountering. So that's step 2. Step 3, we need a Pokemon that knows the move in prison and we want to make that pokemon only have that one move so you can use black urine for this you can use Spiration, you can use other stuff they say that apparently based on the size of your pokemon that's the success rate of the glitch so it's not 100 percent guaranteed all the time for this i'm going to use Spiration. i removed all her moves except in prison i gave her for example the heavy ball but this time, for demonstration's sake, I am going to give her 
the master ball as we can see i have 10 master balls so i give her one i have nine master balls remaining in my bag and as the final uh step we need a pokemon that knows the move trick because we want to be taking that item away from the successfully glitched out smurgle all right so once you're set you want to go ahead and walk to the destination that we just set up obviously we have starters and a lot of pokemon spawning around what we want here is to find a smurgle somewhere and we want to lure it to a specific place right next to this tree on my right side this way boy this way hello yes come this way please he can be very stubborn sometimes okay so you want to turn around like this and what you want to do now is you want your data up front and then you want to be facing north and you walk up to the smurgle like this now that you are in the battle you do not automatically transform which is the tricky part you don't want that ability so you want to manually transform so i'm going to go for transform here i also need to be able i need to be able to outspeed the smurgle because otherwise it fails right so smurgle is going to use sketch on me which is going to actually sketch transform now i want to switch into the pokemon that i want to clone for the item i'm going to switch into iron leaves right we send out iron leaves it's going to transform into iron leaves everything is going according to plan now we have to make smurgle move first so i'm just going to use an item just going to heal myself up that is fine is going to use in prison i have to press the battle button and i'm going to struggle so right after the struggle we want to run away right we want to run away because the iron leaves right in front of us only has five power points now you're going to see that the iron leaves it glitches out it disappears well that's what you think it does but it does not what it does so when you see that you know you succeeded you want to put your Gallade up front, which is the Pokemon that knows the move trick. And you just look to your right side and you see that the variation is chilling right there under the tree. So one of the things that I want to do here is make sure that trick is first so that I can just spam A. Now we have a wild Lee Iron Leaves. That's crazy. All right. So remember that we had nine master balls actually we had 10 but i gave one to iron leaves so nine remained in my bag now what i want to do is i want to start a battle and uh use trick and as you can see here it's fantastic it's this is crazy it's that i obtain a master ball so now i can click on run sometimes you're not allowed to run but as soon as you're able to run, you can check your bag. All right, here we go. And you'll see that instead of nine Master Balls, I now am a proud owner of... Did I miss it? Yeah, 10. Right there. So now I have 11 in total because my Iron Leaves is holding the 11th ball. Amazing right so this is way faster than the item printer so if you want to print a lot of master balls you can do that now if you want to print any other item a battle item an evolutionary item if you want to print some uh, vitamins if you want to print uh, any item for that matter that is that is uh, capable of being held by a pokemon you can do that now in version 3.0.0 of pokemon scarlet and violet whether or not this is going to be patched in the near future is a big question. Um, I think it may, but it also may not because we already have the DLC. Uh, we already kind of finished the game, so I expect uh, Game Freak to just leave it as it is. But this is a way to continuously copy items over and over and over. Copy-paste, copy-paste. Amazing. 
this is this is an absolutely great way to get your hands on a lot of very rare pokeballs which is basically what i'm going to be doing and one of the things you do want to avoid doing is uh, actually catching the Pokemon. Why? Because Iron Leaves will have its uh, uh, its location set to this Savannah Biome. And you do not find Iron Leaves at the Savannah Biome. Meaning you cannot use this Pokemon for competitive play. You cannot even trade it. So don't do it. Anyway, trick, run, trick, run, trick, run. That's all you gotta do and uh i just really hope it was a really helpful video for you guys now we can all just chill out copy paste and have a lot of items that we so much desire um so if you thought this video was helpful give your boy a like and a subscription and i'll see you guys on the next video have a nice day